My name is Brad Kazadowski. I'm one of the owners here at Legacy Plumbing. I've been plumbing now for 14 years. Uh, got into the industry. I actually took a different route. I never went to school for trades or anything like that. I was an accountant, firefighter, and a paramedic before I did this. And I had a really good friend of mine who said, I helped him out with some side odd jobs and he said, hey, you're pretty good at this. You ever thought about plumbing? And the first thing I said is, heck no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. But I decided to give it a shot and I'm glad I did. So that's how I, that's how I kind of got into it on the job training. So back then it, there wasn't a labor shortage. So it was a little bit more difficult. Um, you either needed to know someone or you had to have tech school experience to get into it. I just happened to have good friends. I, also, I started at a company that offered an apprenticeship laborer. I had to go through, I think it was like six months of schooling for, through this company, giving up, giving up my weekends and whatnot to catch up on the schooling portion of it. And then during the week, you just worked. Um, I didn't get paid to do the schooling portion of it. So that was pretty much my own dime or on my free, or my free time I had to do it. So I had to invest in myself with that one. And then during the week, you just work. But uh, I ended up getting in with a company that allowed that. And through that and the friendship that I'd made with this other plumber, he was able to get me into a more established company, something more that I like to do, less traveling, because I had a very young family at the time. So, so that's how I did that. When I first started doing the work, um, I really enjoyed it, working with my hands, being outside. I had a real good sense of accomplishment every day at the end of the day, and uh, it just felt really good. So um, that helped me push through the barriers. I had a really understanding wife uh, who allowed me to pursue this, and uh, it didn't, it truly, I know how hokey this sounds, but it truly didn't feel like I was actually working. It felt like I was educating myself and learning. So, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty big about those two things. So education and learning, life experience, I guess, so. I would say, um, and this is with any career, you know, challenge yourself. Think outside the box. You never know what you might be good at. Until you find that true happiness in life, keep trying new things, keep doing new things. And uh, like I said, I had did a, a lot of things. I got my college degrees and I wish I would have gotten to this sooner, but uh, you know, things happen for a reason, I believe. So I, I would say, to someone thinking about getting into the trades or, or, or in a in kind of a rut of their life to, to think outside the box when it comes to careers because I never thought I would be a plumber and I made the switch at 30 years old and it's been the best decision I've made for the last 14 years, so, which dated me pretty well, so. <laughs>